Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is the fourth video, I think, in uh, in my uh, Let's Play of uh, of um, Fallout 3. So this is an area where I'm going to need to go later, but it looks like my quest should take me uh, eastwards. So, east we go. There are some nasty mutants over there, but they don't have any interest interesting drops. I'm going to ignore them for now. Largely because I'm still at the point in the game where I don't have a lot of, uh, lot of ammo. And avoiding running out of stock is going to be a concern at least for uh, a little bit. Though so my major expenditures are over, I think. Okay. Oop. And there is something down there. Not sure what it is. Lots of tin in this game. Lots of tin. Let's drop down. Hopefully dog meat can handle that drop okay. Um, I'm not sure where those critters went. Well, here we go. Water is radioactive in the game, so you have to be careful. Okay, and here are the sewers. And I am heading down into the sewers. You end up spending a lot of time in sewers in this game. There are more rats down here, and I think my task is to hit many of them with a stick. Whoa. Uh, okay. That's two down. Okay, but I think I get a bonus for killing more than, or for hitting more than, uh, more than three of them. Let's see, what, what is the, the quest? The quest is to, okay, so if I kill more than seven, then I'm doing particularly well. Oh, there's a turret control system, which I cannot hack, but there is a turret up there. I think I want to not wipe that thing out before I get too near. Now this might be explosive gas. I'm not entirely sure. Well, there we go. Pellant stick. We'll go back on. Shoot. I think my companions are killing the mole rats, which is not the ideal situation. Whoa! There's a person over there. So let's pop back up. I meant to, uh, yeah, if you, if you hit them enough, you, you get some experience for the kill. Doesn't look like that's going to get to happen, though. Mole rats. Are there any mole rats left? I don't see any. Oh, but there might be some mole rats up above. I guess that's a sawed-off shotgun. More rats or people? More rats. Okay. Oh. Okay. More mole rats. And I s seem to have injured one of my limbs. So normally there are doctor's kits that you can use that can help with that. This is uh, what an injured limb looks like. It looks like... One of my arms is badly damaged, and my leg is almost non-functional. Whoops! Oh, sorry. Did not mean to hit dog meat. So that might be it for this area. We'll find out. Good. You can be on the lookout for me. That is a good development. Um, but please do not kill mole rats. Paint gun and a sensor module. Sensor modules are kind of rare. You need them for certain types of, uh... Actually, I am going to try... Can stim packs heal damaged limbs in this? Yes, they can. I think in Fallout New Vegas you can't do 
Stimpaks won't do that for you. Hmm. Well, maybe there are no more mole rats down here. I can find them up above ground, though. Ooh, some lockers. Well, only one of them had anything in it, but I know at least eventually those darts will be useful once I get a dark gun. And, again, ammo doesn't weigh anything. So you just end up collecting a lot of stuff that... Switch back to a more normal weapon, though. Mm, let's go with... Sniper rifle. What is that? That is... Is that a friend or a foe? That might be a foe. Yeah, it looks like a foe. Oh, my sniper rifle broke. Well, that sucks. I have a hunting rifle? Yeah. And dog meat will finish him off. Cool. And his power armor will be nice and useful. Um, although I might want to actually just go and visit the... Uh, let's see, what is over here? Keep your weapons holstered or get shot. Why don't... There is a person... Oh, it's just a... Uh, one of these guys. Okay. So we're going to head back over to um, Fort Independence and trade in this enclave stuff to get some grenades. Okay. So, dude, 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 don't go... Okay, you stay outside. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, don't, don't hurt my robot. Oh, okay, you're... you're hit. Scanning, sir. Apparently he's deciding to go on the hunt. He might have spotted something that I haven't up ahead. Anybody there? Is there someone up here? Maybe I'm just oh, uh... It's an enclave's... Spy bot. Oh. Okay. If it isn't our locals, well, I'll be dead. No. Be this is some pretty. I'll take some there. more stim packs. Um. Guess I'll turn in a sensor unit. If it isn't our local and eventually, if you give them enough stuff, they'll let you into their base. But... Okay, how we doing? I guess we really want to find more mole rats. So, are there any areas that we would like to go... Well, there's the Bethesda Ruins. I don't think I've been inside here. And I'm wondering if this is meant to be... Bethesda the comp Whoa. Nice. Wondering if this is meant to be the same Bethesda that developed this game. So I'm in danger. Somebody else sees me, but I can't see them because my perception is not high enough. Whoa! That's one less, but I think the shots were coming from somewhere else. So 
So somebody else, I believe, is shooting at me. Let's see. Another hunting rifle. Let's fix these things up together. Are there any other duplicate weapons that I can... No. Okay. Well, let's go into the Bethesda ruins then. I don't think that there are anything... Any other things in there. Oh, nice. And a sniper rifle, which I can use to fix my old sniper rifle. Awesome. Oh, yes. There are definitely some foes in there. I wonder if I can manage to knock this guy off without him seeing me. Every day is a good day. Grenade. I don't really need the rest of that. Let's see. Okay, looking good. Looking good. Now, eventually, some of those things are things which I would want to keep for crafting. Can't turn that off yet. Sweet. Okay. So let's quickly check these cabinets to see if there's any more ammo. Oh, or other useful things. Okay, there's some drugs that I can sell. Whoa. Uh, I can't help but notice that my robot buddy seems to have terrible aim. Whoa. Somebody with a flamethrower. Ah, darn it. I was really hoping to catch a nap on that bed to recover my health. But it seems like my buddies are very good at finding things to fight. Now this is a fun part of the game. In that there are some things where if you shoot them, they'll blow up. Pre-war book. Always nice. Stim pack because they don't weigh anything in your infantry. That's just free healing for later, which is nice. Okay, now I'm going to head down and catch a little bit of shut-eye, hopefully. Oh, there's stuff up here. Nice. Frag grenade, frag mine, another frag grenade. Don't really need all this other stuff, but airway spikes are free. Nap for an hour, and, and you are completely uh, healed. Is highly unrealistic, but it's kind of convenient. Okay. Now there can be traps on stairs. So you want to be a little bit extra careful when climbing steps. Oh, and this is a trap. Uh Okay. I've disarmed the trap, but unfortunately my repair skill isn't enough to let me take the shotguns. Which is a bit of a bummer. Okay, some mentats. I guess maybe but what Bethesda gets credit for is taking the old looting the dungeon thing and making it interesting because of a semi-modern day twist. Because that's definitely what I'm doing right now. By your commands. 
Sir, I am on the lookout. Did I already disable that? Yes, I did. Yeah, pity. There are three nice shotguns that if only I could t t get them off that, uh, out of that trap, it, I could have them. Oh well. Get some more ammo. Do I soon see any foes that I can shoot from down here? Or from up here? No. Okay, so here are the eastern offices of Bethesda. And there are definitely some foes here. It's and some weird noises. Unfortunately, dog meat sometimes is... No, don't want to hit you. There we go. Also, lockpicking doesn't take any time, so you can com comfortably do it in the middle of combat for some reason. Did not mean to talk to you. Is he? Dog mate, where where'd you go? Ooh. Oh, that was a particularly brutal slow mo. For some reason the game is giving me a lot of flamers right now. Fortunately I think I have another one oh yeah, I have a few flamers. They're worth a decent amount. And uh, so I should have, I should be doing pretty well when I make it back to town and can sell some of this stuff. And I think that sound is the physics engine of the game getting a little bit weird with, with some object. It occasionally does that. Another hunting rifle. That does not look cool. Okay. Let's take some whiskey. Nothing in these cabinets. Nothing over here I particularly need. Oh yeah, sometimes there are explosives in baby carriages, but not this time. Is there anything interesting in here? Nope, usually there isn't, but very, very occasionally you find something. So bottle caps are the currency of the game. It doesn't really make sense that they were quite so common before the war. Or at least it, they're not so common... Ooh, nice don't know how long it'll be before I get a missile launcher and I'm not gonna be I don't know if missile launcher uses big guns or if it uses explosives but it is a, a fun weapon to use okay some darts I think gonna have to be a little bit picky with the things I care I pick up anything that that weighs something will represent a choice So what is nice about darts is that um, is that they 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 immediately cripple any uh, any limbs that you uh, fire them at. Let's 
see. Yeah, that flamer is still in good condition. I do have a whole bunch of miscellaneous weapons that I can get rid of. Okay, so I have eight pods that I can work with. My health is full right now, so I'm not going to see any foes. Well, no, I don't get the feeling that there are any foes. There might be some traps. Gotta be careful. But I'm not seeing anything yet. You must done raiding this office. I think that's it is portrayed as being one of the faults of uh, or one of the characteristics of post-apocalyptic life in that at least in this part of town there's not a lot of civilization not a lot of production of stuff so looting of, of really old stuff it's just part of the way people live and nowadays. Which is not a good sign for the long term because eventually you're going to run out of stuff. But if the population is really this low, then and if stuff actually lasts long enough, maybe it's not that bad a thing. That was where I walked. But yeah, wha wha one of the things is that you can't be a raider forever. At some point, you're going to need to rebuild society on new grounds. You need... You need the ability to produce stuff. I'm going to swing back by Megaton just to sell some of the ran up? random stuff. I wonder if this guy's going to let me in his house yet. Is the door locked? No, the door's still locked. Okay. Because there's a bobblehead doll in the house that... I would like to have. Uh, looks like there aren't any traders here right now. Welcome to I'll wait a few hours, see if they'll show up. Megaton. There we go. Enjoy your stay. Hello? Ah, fellow student. The type of safety that can only be ensured by an abundance of weaponry, both wicked and awesome. Cool. Please. Enjoy my selection of high-quality problem solvers. Again, we're going to focus on selling the stuff that is in good condition, or the stuff that, we're, uh, that we don't use. Let's see, don't need that. Um, probably don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Okay. Um, again, I've forgotten to put on my trader outfit. I guess I could go back and put it on, but not going to bother. I rarely do. Okay, let's sell the booze. Now, one of the interesting things about Fallout New Vegas is that you can get more than one type of ammo that fits the same, uh, fits the same weapon. Which is pretty convenient. Let's see. Again, always... You should generally be trying to sell stuff that, uh, if you have to deal with vendors that can't carry everything that you'd like to sell them, then you should be getting rid of the stuff that doesn't weigh, or, or stuff that does weigh something for stuff that doesn't weigh anything. Um, do I want a baseball bat? Six versus... Uh, yeah, I guess that's my only melee weapon at this point. Okay, that's good. Give me a shout if you need anything in. That is good. So now we kind of would like to find some more mole rats. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the actual numbers are on the mole rats, but see, what was here? Tepid sewers. Well, I think the mole rats are most common just out here somewhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a marker that we haven't been to yet and just wander off in that direction and see if we happen to be lucky enough to find some mole rats along the way. That looks like a, a marker that we haven't been to yet. It's due east. We're going to hope that our companions don't kill the mole rat before we make it there. It looks like a foe and... No, no, no. Don't want them to reach it before I do. Repellent stick. There we go. No, no. Dog meat. Stupid dog. I was a little bit too slow at, at reaching it. Yeah, mole rats kind of like to hang out in these highlands out here. Oh, and that's one of those fly things. I don't really want to mess with those. They don't give you anything, and they're not relevant to any quests. Anyhow. I think this looks like raider territory, or at, le at least it looks like territory that raiders would like to have. I don't know if there actually are any here. Let's see, what is this? Statues of some sort. And a whole bunch of unexplored territory. I'm not sure if this is an entrance or not. I don't think it is. Shoot. Um. And and the game does it puts a lot of invisible walls, so you can't really uh you can't really cliff jump like you can in Skyrim to get to, to places that are hard to reach. You generally have to take the subway. But occasionally can I get up here? No, I can't. I guess I can get up on this side, but and there's a door. Looks promising. Uh, come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. No. Really? Really? Well that is Kind of irritating. But let's see what's in the factory. This doesn't seem to be a marked area. But often that just means that there's something interesting inside. Talon Company. Now these are guys that come at you. Eat hot lead, you dummy bastard! Let's not use the sniper rifle for this. It is better for other things. I want this uh, this is probably not... I should probably sell the 32 pistol. It just doesn't do a lot of damage. Might be a dangerous place for me to be. Because these guys, they do kind of harass you for most of the game. Recon armor. Well, that's interesting. I actually want to put that on. Since it gives you a bonus to sneak. Is this better than... Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, some some uh, weapons and armor, they give you stat bonuses, and you generally want to pay a lot of attention to that, because... Probably should have sold that, but... Oh, well. Yeah, this is... Ooh, Power Fist. 
it's a melee or it's an unarmed weapon that's I think described in game as being like a shotgun attached to a, a, a boxing glove which in reality sounds pretty dangerous you're, you're gonna blow your arm off but in Talon com combat armor it's I think it's worth a lot when you get it nicely repaired is there any junk that I can drop that's low value No, oh, the power fist at this level of repairedness is low value. Hmm. I need to drop four pounds. I guess I'll drop the lunch box. Two. Um. RL3 is ready for duty. RL-3 comes equipped with everything a good soldier needs, but your RL-3 can assist in carrying equipment if needed. Hmm. Oh, that should hopefully be good enough. Okay, and did we loot this guy? Another telling combat armor, which I can up with that one and make it nice. Yeah, these these are assassins that come after you if you're if you are if your karma is too positive. I guess bad guys apparently have some type of notion of uh, cooperation here. Oh, is that it? I thought there was more to this place. I guess there's not. Okay, so there's there. There's there. Is there. Wait, did I come in this way? Maybe this isn't the way I came in. No, I guess I did. Is that all there is to this place? I've never been in that place before, but in previous games, those guys were harassing me for a very long time. I guess they're all based out of that little building. Unimpressive. You should get some new digs. Oh well. I wonder if wiping them out might have had some effects, like maybe they won't chase me for the whole game. On the other hand, maybe they have more than one headquarters. Uh, basically, it, over here I, I would just like to get some place on my map so that I can fast travel to somewhere in this general vicinity. some ants. Oh, I wonder if this is... I might know where this is. Oh! I'd forgotten about that. Yes. I'd completely forgotten that these ants are fire-breathing. So you kind of have to keep your distance from him. Or at least you can't just keep on doing that back... You can't keep doing that back away trick that... Uh, Not doing a lot of damage to these guys. Ah, 
the nectar is the valuable stuff. So you want to get a good amount of that to sell. It's really, in, in games like this where you have a limited carrying capacity, it's not the direct value of what you have so much as it is the value per pod of what you have. And that you could have something that's worth quite a lot, but if you can only carry one of it, because it's super heavy, then it's not a great thing to carry. Let's see if... Okay. Can get some refreshment. Is there anything back here I want? No. Apparently not. Okay. Not sure what dog meat is growling about, but he does have better perception than I do. Come on, tell me. It used to. A papa had a gun. He said it hurt. He kept telling everyone. Okay, so the end result of this is that there's a uh, there's a mad scientist here who managed to give ants the ability to breathe fire, and that's kind of revealed in here. a damn stupid thing to do. Um, yeah, blocked by lockpick. Great. I am not doing enough damage to really contribute to this. Which is interesting. Dogmeat is doing a lot more damage than I am. A lot more. Those ants, they're everywhere. I'm imagining maybe up here there's some ammo. At least there often is. Since people tend to like these high areas to snipe from, but apparently not. Oh well. There is another ant. So I just need to lure my companions into fighting with them. Get him, dog meat. That is just sad. I'm a, I apparently didn't do enough damage to get any of the contribution kill points. Where's my robot, buddy? I hope he didn't get killed. Hmm, not good. He isn't particularly effective as, as an ally, since he has really terrible aim, but I hope he didn't bite it. Abandoned home. Oh no, he's there. Okay, that's good. Oh. And there are some weapons here. Pool Q is kind of stupid. Not a lot of use, at least. Hmm. Apparently, pre-war money is not quite useless. Take a quick 
quick nap to recover. And check under here. Oops, well that's not too useful. It's not quite useless. Do we have everything we need? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, and the, there's... I guess that's part of the thing about my ally here. He has terrible aim, but shots do a lot of damage. RL3, I mean. Really want to. Well, I wonder if I have a weapon. Let's give this combat shotgun a try. That's it. That's at least better. So apparently f combat shotguns are where it's at. Oh yeah, your allies have unlimited ammo with their with their built-in weapons, which is pretty nice. But I guess the quest marker is telling me to go this way. I'm not going to disagree. So I think it wants me to go this way. Wait, which quest am I on? Oh. Okay. Well, still roughly this way, but not quite the same this way. So let's head over and we're going to try and find this guy's dad. Oh, well, not a good sign. Since that dude is dead. Let's see if we can loot anything useful from here, though. We're over encumbered. Let's see. Okay, we're just under. It's generally better to be a little bit more under in case you need to pick something up. You're not constantly trying to reduce weight, but you can't win them all. Let's see. Nothing there. Is there anything upstairs? A little bit more ammo. Gun. More ammo. Okay. Well, that's good enough. Fun. Uh, okay, so... Whoop. No, that's just his arm. So now I'm heading back over to tell this dude that his dad's dead. Whoops. Come on, tell me. He's. He's oh. dead? I guess I already knew. You gotta stop. I wish I had met you. Thanks for doing. Okay, so source of the fire ants. Um, did that clear my quest? No. But I'm not getting a nearby quest marker. Wait, what? Why is? Oh, well, that's that's the marker that I made. So. I did get a key to the shack, I think. And the shack has a password recording. Let's... Well, this could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is for Mesodai. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self. Destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Oh, 
Okay. So I think that should tell me where I need to go to fix the ant problem. And... Probably. Maybe. So there's a subway station around here. I think. In search of the subway. Bum bum bum. Still a lot of ants nearby. So I'm going to leave them alone for now. Because I am on a subway hunt. I guess I'll leave the fun to my companions. There's the subway. Okay, well, maybe that wasn't particularly bright, but I basically just want to get this as a fast travel marker. So that Whoa. Ow. nectar. Oh, let's see. Can I get the weight down again? Yeah, a little bit. Not a lot, but I can carry one more nectar, I think. If I can find one. Sweet. And then I can head off and sell this stuff and then next time, I will be able to go diving into the uh, subway station and take care of the ants. Then I'm going to walk back from my vault to see if I can find more mole rats. And to get here, I want to go southeast. Okay, so let's get the repellent stick on and see if we might find any mole rats on the way. Maybe it's not super likely. This isn't a very long distance. But, on the other hand, I do see something. I'm hoping that I can reach it before my companions do. And what are you gonna be? Oh, it's just a damn dog. I'm not doing a lot of damage to the dog. And I hope... The dog seems pretty intent on just fighting me. Okay. For a lot of these, they have gates, and they occasionally have interesting things inside. Not always, but... Yeah, this only has a water pump. Which heals you a lot, but has a lot of radiation, too. Most of the other ones are a little bit more interesting than that. Up we go. And looks like there's a uh, trade dude here. Hello. Welcome, welcome. You bear. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. 
Oh, that's kind of catchy. Um, can sell this. Uh, that's about as much as you can manage. You don't sell any Give ammo. Shout if you need hey. So uh, let's pop inside and talk to Moira. We're not going to turn in our quest with her yet. Let's see if this is open yet. Oh, it is. Good. Because right in here is the bobblehead, or at least it's somewhere in here. Uh, and where is it? Maybe it's upstairs. Could it be on his desk? Might be on his desk. Yeah, it is. Sweet. One extra strength. Well, that's all I have to do in here. Since you need something? virtually anything else that you might do in there will take... Uh, We'll take karma, because, I mean, you, uh, if you steal stuff, let's see, it's 9.56 p.m., so we have a 12-hour wait. I guess in, in a somewhat more realistic game, we would just hang out uh, in our house until the sun comes up, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, this is open. We can sell all the stuff that we don't absolutely need. Oh, I can't wait. So, this was kind of ineffective. Uh, oh, she still doesn't have a lot of... I'm going to keep a laser rifle from now on. Just as another sort of... Uh, another sort of weapon. Let's get rid of the hunting rifle. They're easy to find. Combat shotgun proved to be pretty handy. Don't need a knife. Pistol, shotgun, laser, sniper. Uh, the Talon combat armor I definitely don't need. Damn it, I keep forgetting to put on the uh, trader outfit before I buy and sell stuff. This is addictive. Mentats are good enough that it might actually be worth keeping a st uh, keeping a, s uh, a stock of them. Let's see, is oh, I guess I don't really need that box of detergent. I don't think I intentionally picked it up to begin with. Looking good. Actually, didn't make any money on that transaction, but I good did. hunting. I did get rid of a lot of stuff that I didn't need, and that's good enough. Okay, so what I was doing was it Fairfax? No, it was uh, Marigold. We're going ant hunting. Definitely not the right weapon. So, yeah, the combat shotgun really seemed to be the best tool I have to uh, to do stuff. And the ants are all over the place. You can really hear them. Whoop. Oh, hello. Uh, 
and I forgot to take a rest somewhere to heal up health. Man, that skitchy ant sound is not fun. Okay, there is an ant. I'm being very brave here, letting uh, my companions take care of combat for me. That's how we do things in the U.S. Army. Hooah! Hooah! Okay. Yeah, I just I don't like using my ammo on on things that don't give me ammo back. Unless I really have to. Oh, I frenzied it, frenzied it and killed it in the same shot. That is amusing. be careful in some of these areas of the sewer because some of these are some of these areas have gas leaks meaning that if you fire a gun in the area you can easily find yourself I did not mean to pick up a lawnmower blade oh well But yeah, if you fire the wrong ty type of weapon in the area, you can end up creating an explosion, which will not be good for you. Because generally explosions aren't good for you, but... So which way are the ants? I guess I'm going to guess maybe they're this way. I'm really not sure. Definitely hear ants this way, though. Probably upstairs. Man, that is a loud and freaky, chittery sound. Ow! Sounds like the fight is on. Did not damage that ant enough for a share in the experience. Yeah, that's as I said, that's one of the things about this game. Dog meat is a lot tougher than you are. And at least for much of the game, if you really want to, you can just sit back and let him do most of the fighting. Although it means that you're not going to level very much. I did not mean to do that. There we go. Some weapons. Grady's last recording. I don't... If you're listening to this tape... And my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gertershade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. Hopefully, they won't find you, too. Okay. Well, that sounds like a promising clue. For something. 
Is this where I, I was before? This might be where I was before. I think it, I'm pretty sure it was actually. Falls Church that way. What is this way? This is eastbound something station. And it's blocked off. There's a fair number of ghouls in some of these uh, stations as, as well. And that's definitely something to be careful of. Oh. Some more nectar. And some more experience, which is always nice. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. I would like to have my buddies here with me for that, but I think my buddies are doing their own thing right now. Okay. An easy lock. It's, oops. Fortunately, Bobby pins are frequent, are frequent enough that you don't need to worry too much in this game about running out. Silence pistol. Now that is very useful when you get your sneak sneak skill up higher, because there are ways to stay continually hidden and do all your killing basically invisibly there. Okay. So, I do hear the chittering of ants behind me. Or I guess scuttling is probably a, a better word. So, so there's two doors. There's one this way and one that way. I'll try this way first. This is... So I'm not sure where that key is. I mean, well, I, I'm not sure what that key unlocks. Let's see. Stim pack. Uh, took that a little bit too fast. But basically, in Skyrim, where lock picking is much harder. The uh, the trick is basically to find roughly where the lock is. That's or where the uh, correct position uh, position is. That's usually the hardest part. And then once you find it, it's just a matter of honing in on the right. Uh, uh, well, didn't get any experience from that either. Bummer. And I guess I would like to get my health up a little bit. This, I think, is explosive gas. So I'm going to... See if I can set it off before I go in. Maybe this will do it. There we go. Because I do not like being in the middle of that when it goes off. Never fun. Okay. I think I'm probably pretty near. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I did kind of creep up on me 
without a lot of uh, chance to get away. At least without a, a good chance to get cleanly away. Uh, all these lockers are empty. Okay. Let's see, is there anything over here that I want? No. Still hearing that chittering sound. Are you startled? You really mustn't creep. Do you read my expect my foray? My word. Well, this is rather instead of I call their gen. I may be able to your knowledge of indeed I have skipped a step and directly modified an and to correct. My portable terminal is set up in the hatchery. If she were hot, your objective would be to... I've rigged the... Once I send this pulse, all of the... Re so... Be I'm afraid they are not... Sus uh, just aim for... Yep, so he's the mad scientist. Oh. Who ended up making uh You have your idea fire breathing Yeah. Right. And he has no ethics. And he's more than a bit of a douche. But Ah, I wonder if I can no, that's his bed and he won't let me sleep on it. Great. Well I can at least get some some weapons out of this. And ammo, which should be pretty helpful. And I believe this is the entrance to the ant area. Yes, it is. And I'm going to save that for the next uh, uh, next episode. So I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been a uh, part of a walk uh, walkthrough, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, part of a let's play of Fallout 3.